welcome. Hi, good to see you. Would you introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is David Nutt. I'm a psychiatrist from England and I'm a professor of neuropsychopharmacology at Imperial College in London. There's been recent interest in opioids and LSD as potential treatments for depression. Could you walk us through a little bit of the opioid theory and mechanism? Sure. Well, we've known ever since opioids were really discovered and tested that they could change mood. But in about the last 10 years, people have got very interested in one called dynorphin, which is a, works on the Kappa system, and it's a sort of depressogenic substance. It makes people miserable, it increases stress, causes dysphoria. So naturally, if you could block that, the theory is you could lift depression. And it's turned out to be quite difficult to make a pure Kappa antagonist, but companies have now managed to, to make a combination of drugs which have both Kappa antagonist activity and also a little bit of mu partial agonist activity. And that particular combination does seem to help lift mood. How about LSD? So LSD is a psychedelic. Uh, a, it's, LSD itself is not being used at present as a therapy. It's got just too much baggage. But what we and other groups are using is a, a little sort of baby brother of LSD called psilocybin. It's what you get in magic mushrooms. It's also a psychedelic, but it's gentler and it's shorter acting. And we did a study a few years ago, which really kick-started interest in depression because we showed that a single trip with psilocybin could produce beneficial effects in people with resistant depression, treatment resistant depression, and that those effects would last for weeks or months after a single dose. So now companies have set up to try to see if that could be replicated in a multi-center fashion. What should clinicians think about when considering these agents in the future? Well, I think the really important thing is to understand that there is a rational pharmacology to these. People talk about opioids and think, oh my God, we're going to create another opiate crisis. But the opioid treatments for depression are antagonists. They will not cause dependence. Uh, they will actually, if anything, stop dependence. People talk about LSD, oh my God, people will go mad. They'll have terrible trips, they'll have bad trips. But in the controlled setting, psilocybin, with proper therapists and proper preparation of the patients, we don't find people have bad trips. I mean, they don't enjoy it because they're dealing with depression, but they don't have trips that aren't containable. And those trips themselves seem to be critical to the therapeutic value because the, the, we now know that what psychedelics do is stimulate a serotonin receptor in the brain, the 5-HT2 receptor, which is very highly expressed in the cortex and seems to regulate depressive thinking. And what we believe uh, psychedelics do in depression is to disrupt depressive thinking. So it kind of reset people's brains. It's like a, a defrag of your hard drive or even a reformat. And then people can stay well for months afterwards. So you seem hopeful about these potential breakthroughs. Well, I'm very, I'm very excited about it because it's been a long time since we've had some real innovation in terms of treating depression. And these are both working on completely different systems, systems that up till now have never been used as targets for antidepressant treatments. Thank you for sharing your wisdom. Thank you. Yes.